taking off. No, I mean, that capability is huge. Certainly on an inspection type uh, of situation like this where you would have to erect scaffolding or have people go in with a bucket truck, now you can go in on a 20 minute flight, an inspection that may have taken a week, you can do it in 20 minutes. Uh, capture all the angles that you want, videos, go back to your desk, look at that, and now you have a digital file for the next time when you go back to do another inspection, you can overlay that information. Uh, we've been working very closely for the last four years now with the FAA on regulations such as this. Uh, so for us to get a beyond visual line of sight waiver uh, is a good win for us and it's certainly just the, the first stepping stone on where we want to take this program and certainly get widespread throughout our footprint on where we can operate beyond visual line of sight. There's four, there's three. And what we're looking to do when our crews are on site flying is making sure that the airspace is clear but when we're executing during our beyond visual line of sight, we're staying in close proximity to our infrastructure. So that's addressing the airspace risk and that's also addressing uh, the risk for Dominion or the safety uh, concerns that Dominion has with proper PPE. You know, data collection uh, is kind of in all facets of our society. Uh, we see that online where, you know, our online activities are tracked all the time. There's various technologies to do this and drones are a way to track your, your offline movement. So if you have a company who is controlling, you know, thousands upon thousands of drone operations flying over populated areas, you know, that's an opportunity for them to collect information. And if we don't have some type of transparency and protection in place, well, if they see an opportunity to minimize data collection as the drones are flying around delivering packages, well, they will do that. Part of the reason we want the FAA to act on, on privacy is because there's really a lack of regulations in place to address the privacy implications of uh, drones flying in the sky. Uh, you know, right now, um, for the most part, uh, you can use surveillance equipment in the sky and see what you see flying from that vantage point, and there's uh, not much that can be done about that. What did you hear today to give us feedback on the beyond visual line of sight?